20 years after Princess Diana shook hands with an HIV patient, the Queen has followed in her footsteps. This father, his wife and one of their children are among an estimated 2 million Ugandans infected with the virus. But they are luckier than most, receiving treatment at the pioneering Mildmay Centre in Kampala. On her first visit to an HIV AIDS clinic, the Queen saw for herself the devastating effect of the disease. These grandmothers or jajas have been left to care for their children's children because AIDS has wiped out an entire generation of young adults. And it's killing their babies too. The hospital policy is never to turn away a sick child, but in the last year it has had to expand to meet demands. Its new wing has been named in honour of the Queen. This new ward has doubled the hospital's capacity with 25 new beds. Six of them here behind me are critical care beds. The children here are being treated not only for HIV, but for malaria, pneumonia and malnutrition. The royal party had been eagerly anticipated at Mild May. Her visit is a significant show of support for those who have the virus. Not to us it means so so much because we had we didn't know that she had even visited any AIDS organization before and I believe it would be this is the first one, especially in Uganda, and it really means that she cares. Oh it was it was wonderful. I could imagine but I'm very happy to meet her. Who am I? To meet the Queen of England. As she addressed the Ugandan Parliament, the Queen was full of praise for what she'd seen. The scourge of HIV infection and AIDS has touched the lives of so many of Uganda's people. It is difficult sometimes when the sorrow associated with this disease is so profound to avoid a sense of despair. And yet there are growing numbers of people and organisations whose work gives cause for real hope. Mild May is one of those places that has changed the lives of thousands. The Queen's visit was a chance to celebrate that success and show it off as an example to the world.